Thomas Markle likens the royals to a secretive Scientology cult as he attacks Wall of Silence from family since daughter Meghan wed Prince Harry. Meghan Mark's father has said the royal family are like Scientologists because of their secrecy. In an extraordinary outburst, Thomas Markle made the bizarre comparison because of the royal family's cult-like secrecy, and he even went on to compare them to the Stefford wives. The 74-year-old added, maybe they have a secret handshake too. You cannot ask a question of them, as they won't answer. The ex-lighting director told The Sun that the royals have to become more modern and open to scrutiny. Speaking from his home in Rosarito, Mexico, he said they are either like Scientologists or the Stepford family. If they hear anybody say anything they just lock the doors. They need to speak up. They are cult-like, like Scientology, because they are secretive. They close the door, pull the shades down and put their fingers in their ears so they don't have to hear. Markle's public discourse with Kensington Palace continues after his sleuth of well-publicized bust-ups with the royals and his daughter, the Duchess of Sussex Meghan Markle. Markle has been met with a wall of silence from the palace since his daughter's wedding to Prince Harry in May. Princess Diana's former bodyguard today said that Prince Harry must take responsibility for his role in the Thomas Markle debacle. In a new interview with Yahoo News The Royal Box, retired Metropolitan Police Inspector Ken Wharf, 69, said the royal should have insisted that aides were dispatched to help the retired lighting director, 74 cope with media attention around his daughter's wedding. He's not an unintelligent guy. He's been through the mill himself. He knows what press intrusion is like. He has a drawbridge and a portcullis to hide behind when they pursue him. Thomas Markle doesn't. Nobody's looking after him. They're going to bend his arm. There'll be the offer's money. There'll be the pursuing paparazzi, the invasion and the negative reporting that we've seen. Harry could have done something about that. He may have advised palace officials. Maybe he did, but he could have insisted on that. He could well have done, but for some reason it hasn't happened. And he said that he has sympathy for Mr. Markle despite his constant public outbursts, adding, I don't think we should dismiss her father as someone who's made mistakes here, as an ogre. His behavior are as a result of poor advice or no advice. The whole saga started in May this year when Mr. Markle secretly collaborated with a British paparazzi photographer to stage a series of pictures sold to newspapers around the world. Together with other pictures taken with his cooperation, they will have netted up to £100,000. The staged pictures, that included Mr. Markle browsing British landmarks online in a branch of Starbucks and looking at pictures of the happy couple resulted in him not walking his daughter down the aisle. In fact, Markle played his way out of an invite to the wedding altogether. Just days after the Mail on Sunday revealed the photos were staged for Thomas's profit, he pulled out of the wedding saying he didn't want to further embarrass his daughter. Mr. Markle, who had a heart attack a week before, returned hospital after having chest pains. He said a series of tests found that the heart attack had done significant damage and revealed he needed immediate surgery, thus missing the wedding. He said at the time, I hate the idea of missing one of the greatest moments in history and walking my daughter down the aisle. Of course I'd walk her down the aisle. This is a historic moment. I'd like to be a part of history. Since missing Meghan's wedding to Prince Harry on May 19th, the relationship between Thomas Markle and the royal family became increasingly fractious. A string of high-profile bust-ups has led to Mr. Markle repeatedly going to the media much to the ire of Kensington Palace. His latest comments are not likely to be his last as The Mirror reported the 74-year-old is growing increasingly bitter that his children Meghan, Samantha and Thomas Jr. are not helping pay for his retirement despite his generosity in the past. A source close to Markle told The Mirror. He says they have not given him a effing dime back. He is growing increasingly bitter about it. His resentment has only been compounded by the fact Meghan's mother Doria Ragland has been embraced by the royal family, it is claimed. Doria, the only member of the bride's family at the royal wedding, is said to be preparing to move to Britain to be closer to her daughter. The 61-year-old is apparently beside herself with excitement as soon becoming neighbors of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. One friend has said Doria could be making the move as soon as next month, in time for her 62nd birthday. The Mirror reports that money is what initially caused tension between Thomas and his children after he retired seven years ago. As drama continues to swirl thanks to Thomas' continuous public outbursts, 
Eagle-eyed royal fans have also pointed out that Thomas was notably absent from Meghan's wedding to film producer Trevor Engelson in Jamaica in 2011. A handful of media outlets have previously reported that he wasn't there, but his absence takes on a new significance as his difficulties with Meghan, 37, continued to play out in the public eye and indicates that their current issues are nothing new.